In the early 1950s, a top-secret project was underway in the United States that would forever change the face of warfare. It was the development of nuclear artillery, a weapon so powerful and devastating that it could turn the tide of any battle. And at the forefront of this groundbreaking technology was a massive cannon known as Atomic Annie. Picture this, a colossal 84-foot-long artillery piece, weighing a staggering 83 tons. Its 38.5-foot-long barrel had a bore of 280 millimeters, making it the largest road mobile artillery ever produced by the U.S. This behemoth of destruction was aptly nicknamed Atomic Annie, paying homage to the fearsome German K-5 gun that wreaked havoc during the American landings in Italy. But how did this incredible weapon come to be? It all started in 1949 when the Picatinny Arsenal was given the task of creating a nuclear-capable artillery piece. Engineer Robert Schwartz took inspiration from the German Krupp-made K-5 railway guns and modified them to be moved on roads by enormous tractors. The result was the M65, a true marvel of engineering. The Pentagon approved the design, and a three-year developmental effort ensued. The project progressed so rapidly that a demonstration model was ready just in time for Dwight Eisenhower's inaugural parade in January 1953. Little did the world know that this parade was just a precursor to something far more explosive. On May 25, 1953, at 8.30 a.m., the atomic Annie cannon was put to the ultimate test at the Nevada test site. Codenamed, Grable, this test was part of the upshot knothole series of nuclear tests. The warhead used was a gun-type fission weapon, and the detonation occurred a mere 19 seconds after firing. The explosion, an air burst, took place over 6.25 miles away from the gun. It reached a height of 160 meters above the ground, unleashing a force equivalent to 15 kilotons. The blast was so powerful that it formed a precursor, a second shock front that caused even more damage to drag-sensitive targets like jeeps and personnel carriers. This historic event marked the only time an actual nuclear artillery shell was fired in the U.S. nuclear weapons test program. Over 3,200 soldiers and civilians witnessed the awe-inspiring display of destructive power. The explosion was meticulously recorded for military purposes, capturing the sheer force and devastation unleashed by Atomic Annie. The round itself, known as the W-9 warhead, was a formidable weapon. Weighing a whopping 803 pounds, it contained 110 pounds of enriched weapons-grade uranium. The collision of the advanced ring and bullet system within the warhead triggered a 15-kiloton chain reaction upon impact. After the successful test, around 20 atomic anti-cannons were manufactured at a cost of $800,000 each. These powerful weapons were deployed overseas to Europe and Korea, constantly on the move to avoid detection and targeting by enemy forces. However, advancements in nuclear technology soon rendered the M65 obsolete, and it was retired in 1963. The legacy of Atomic Annie lives on, though, as it paved the way for the development of rocket and missile-based nuclear artillery. Its immense power and destructive capabilities forever changed the face of warfare.